since I was very young, I've always wanted to exceed and do more. And I always wanted to boost my academic career. At 15 years old, Kaya Njumbe from Gary, Indiana, is setting some pretty remarkable records. He is one of the youngest students to graduate college in Indiana with a bachelor's degree. Jumbe already held three associate degrees and just received a bachelor's degree from Indiana University Northwest this Wednesday, along with his high school diploma. He is also the first in his family to graduate college. What is your secret to success, Kaya? Well, I took them through a dual credit course, so that mainly did help me. And the school that I go to, they always encourage students to take college courses before you graduate but also with support from all my parents, faculty, staff here at IU, as well as the school, and just hard work. Yes! Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. That is the future of Gary, Indiana, right there, Mr. Kaya Njumbe, 15 years old. 15 years old receiving his bachelor's degree in general studies from Indiana University Northwest. He just did this on May the 8th and dreams of being a doctor. He actually cannot go to medical school yet because he's too young. He's too young. He got his, he got his degrees, but he's too young to go to medical school. And so he has to be 18 before he's able to actually start the training, the medical training. Uh, first of all, I think you got to give a big shout out to the man, the young man's parents, Belinda and David and Jumbe. His parents are, are immigrants. Uh, this young man is the first in his family to graduate from college. So God bless uh, his parents, Belinda and David and Jumbe. Um, his mother has actually said, and this goes back again. It's funny how so many of these themes in this show sort of intersect. His mother said that she homeschooled him. Like I talked about in the first segment, I don't blame people who homeschool their children at all at this point. Uh, this is how you end up with somebody like Mr. Kaya and Jumbe. His mother homeschooled him for a few years and said that no matter how advanced the material that she would give him was, he was able to blow right through it and complete entire grade levels in months. <laughs> wow. Wow, this kid was able to complete entire grade levels in months. They enrolled him in a reading program at IU Northwest when he was four years old. Four years old. He started studying at IU Northwest when he was only 12, taking online and in-person classes while maintaining extracurricular activities. Oh, what is his... Uh, uh, extracurricular activities oh he's just playing the piano and learning Chinese oh yeah and he also plays guitar yeah he plays guitar everybody he also is a member of the Jesse White tumbling team and and reads poetry loves to read poetry from Langston Hughes and William Ernest Henley Now, this man has been, this young man has been in such a quest for knowledge that he bounced around from school to school and even for a while opted for an all Chinese school, which he taught himself. He taught himself Chinese. He taught himself Chinese. <laughs> he was fascinated with Bruce Lee. Oh, yeah, uh, Kaya is also a second degree black belt in taekwondo so don't run up on him thinking you, you're gonna like give him a wedgie because he's a nerd no no <laughs> no no this young man's going to uh karate chop you and have you uh, folded into a ball on the ground if you run up on him he knows taekwondo so this man was on a quest for knowledge went for school to school and finally felt challenged at least that he was learning something when he enrolled at 21st Century Charter School right next door here to where I am right here. I'm on Fifth Avenue right where I'm at right now. 
which allows students to take college courses and earn associate degrees before graduation. He jumped several grade levels within a year and began taking college classes at Ivy Tech as an 11 year old. He was at Ivy Tech at 11. He challenged himself and took the opportunity to a place that no student has ever done before. And when he, when this young man finished with enough college credits to earn his bachelor's degree, he had already earned three associate's degrees in biology, liberal arts, and general studies from Ivy Tech. Now, what does this young man plan to do with his future? He plans to find a master's program in preparation for medical school, where he will pursue his lifelong goal of working in biomedical engineering. As I said before, he cannot technically start. He can't enroll at the IU School of Medicine until he turns 18 years old because there are child labor laws. But this is what happens, folks, when you take parenting and teaching seriously. This is why these are the two most important jobs in our society. Okay, that young man, he may be the next Charles Drew and invent some medical procedure that changes the world and allows people to have blood transfusions and, and whatnot. He may, he may, who knows what this, this young man may do with his his ambition and his will. This is what happens when you build a, a strong culture and a strong family unit. So I, again, I always say you have to give parent you have to give the parents the the credit. Belinda and David and Jumbe, you don't do you don't get that without strong parenting. And you have to be strong parents in a place like Gary, Indiana. It's unfortunate to say you have to have strong parenting in order to keep these kids out of the streets, out of the drugs, out of the gangs, and to keep them from, from you know, falling into the sort of sedentary lifestyle that we're seeing that is causing cancer, uh, all with the young people. Uh, it is a minefield. Parenting is a minefield. I, I mean, I, I think I'd like to have kids at some point, but I, I, don't, uh, I don't know with the way it looks now with the, the type of society we live in. I really don't know. So the people who actually do this well and actually know what they're doing in terms of raising children should be given nothing but applause for all of us. And big shout out to everybody at 21st Century Charter School. You helped make this possible as well. You you gave this young man a an oasis in the middle of a desert in a lot of ways. This is one of the poorest cities in America. One of the poorest has historically been one of the most violent cities in America. Let's just call it call a spade a spade. Okay? I was fortunate to have Emerson School for the Visual and Performing Arts to keep me, you know, out of trouble and keep me keep me in something like music, keep me occupied. This young man had 21st century charter school. God bless all the teachers and all the uh, administrators and parents who helped to make this young man's dreams possible. And it just shows you that a lot is possible when you give a kid a chance. So congratulations to everybody involved. A round of applause for everybody involved. Yes. Round of applause for everybody, the parents, the teachers, and of course this young man himself, himself who obviously is extraordinary. 